By the end of this video, you're going to be comfortable working with video and webcam using OpenCV for Python. This is video four of a tutorial series where I show you all the basics and advanced parts of OpenCV in Python. In case you missed the first three videos, that's on the introduction installation basics of OpenCV, video one. Video two is manipulation of images like cropping, rotating, resizing. And video three is drawing on images. I have the playlist linked below and you can also find a GitHub with all the code that I write in this tutorial linked below. So let's get into working with a webcam slash video. Obviously the basics import CV2 which we have installed already. Now what do we want to do? We want to access some video. I'm going to call this stream equals CV2 dot video capture. If you just want to read in a video you could put your file path here. I don't want to read in a video. I want to select a webcam device. So I'm putting a zero there. Next, we want to check if the stream dot is opened. But if it's not, if it's not opened, then we just want to exit. We don't want to continue on with this program. Print no stream sad face and exit okay say we've successfully opened a stream what next we're going to display the stream basically how this is going to work is an infinite while loop where we display each frame frame by frame while true we're going to get a frame we're going to read each frame so return and frame equals stream dot read and this return could be false. So if not return, we're going to print no more stream sad face. Delete that parenthesis and then break out of the infinite while loop. Okay, what's next? We are going to display the frame just as we have before using cv2.imshow. Title the window. I'm using a webcam, so I'm calling it webcam. And then we're gonna show our frame. As a reminder, if you have any questions, you get stuck anywhere, just leave a comment. I try to reply to as many as I can. We also want a way to escape. So rather than just having this go infinitely forever. We're going to make it so if we hit the Q key, we'll exit out of the stream. If cv2 dot wait key, we have done zero before, which is just, it's true if you hit any key, but if we make wait key one equal to ord Q, the ord here basically casts the Q to an integer that's associated with its ASCII number then we're going to break. Just leave the infinite while loop. And then finally, let's clean up. So we want to release our webcam or video file, whatever we've opened, stream.release, and my favorite, cv2.destroy all windows. Exclamation point for effect. Okay, so now if I run this, it really should just display my webcam feed. Run. It usually takes a little bit to get it figured out. Hey, hi everybody. That's me from a webcam. Okay, I just hit D, which is not Q, but now if I hit Q, it successfully closes out. That was nice, a nice temporal moment, but what if we want to permanently save the webcam stream forever? We need to create a way to save, which is going to be a video writer. Output equals cv2 dot video writer. 
video writer. And now this video writer takes a few more parameters and I'll explain them as we go. First one, file path. We have our assets folder, video four, stream dot. I'm gonna make it an MP4 file. It's important that you are specific with that file name. I'll explain why in a minute because the next thing we need is we're going to specify the 4cc code. That's just a code that lets OpenCV know that you're writing to an MP4 because there are quirks within each different video file type. It's going to put some things at the beginning of the file, maybe a couple things at the end of the file, but if it doesn't match with your .mp4, then you're not going to be able to play the video. It's going to be a corrupt video. So what we have to do here is do cv2 dot video writer underscore 4cc with the 4cc code that associates with dot mp4. I have a list of all those that I'm going to add in a comment right here. Okay, list of 4cc video codes. We'll go to that link. It's just a list of all of them whatever you want. We want MP4 right here, MPEG4 video. So the code is MPG4. Wait, that's not what I want. I want MP4V. I'm sure both work, but we're going to do MP4V. Close out of that. What does that look like? Oh, get out, get me out of there. There we go. M P four V. Boom. Got our four CC code. Next we need our frames per second. I also don't know the frames per second of my webcam off the top of my head, but luckily we can just ask the stream. So we're gonna do FPS equals stream dot get CV two dot okay this one it's a little more confusing cap underscore prop underscore FPS apparently older versions of CV2 have a different value for this but I'm if you installed this with me recently we're probably all on the same page cap prop FPS so now FPS equals F oh, not caps equals FPS and then finally frame size equals we don't have a width and a height yet but width height and now let's go get our width and height so width equals stream dot get three and then height equals stream dot get four and that is our video 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 writer we want to save each frame to our output. So after, actually I'm going to put it right before cv2.imshow output dot write frame. Sometimes this gets messy for me. I don't know why it sometimes doesn't work, but if I make frame, I just have to resize frame. cv2.resize frame, and then we're just going to put it back to width and height. Awesome, so now if, I'm gonna open up assets here so you can see if I run this code, we should be saving the webcam stream. Run, give it a minute, hopefully not a long minute, I hope it's a short minute. Oh, did we error? Oh, we have an error. Can't parse frame size. Oh, there we go, that's the error. These are not integers to start and frame size requires integers. Okay, so now our width and our height are integers. Everything should be happy. I'm going to run. I don't know what that's so big. Get smaller, please. 
Give her a short minute. Oh, here we go. Got our webcam. Q, get out of there. And for stream.mp4. And play the stream for you. Webcam. Nice. We can mess with frame however we want because frame is just that NumPy array of pixel values. So I could convert it to grayscale, I could draw a mustache on myself, I could do anything. Make like a little photo booth looking thing. That is potentially what we could do with OpenCV for Python and a webcam. In the next video we're going to be looking at corner detection and starting to get into OpenCV's machine learning features. Which if you're doing anything with computer vision you've probably touched OpenCV in some way and this corner detection stuff is a great way to start dipping your toe in. I have the playlist linked below. Also, the code is up on my GitHub linked below. Subscribe if this was helpful and you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.